Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy The Furious J back again today with another video and today we're going to be talking about two boxing. And before I get into it and give my two cents, I want to state this. I get why people are doing it. I understand it. Whether you're regular players and you're just doing it to have a good time or some people are just playing with their friends and they happen to get into a bad lobby and others are rebelling against Activision and the idea of skill-based matchmaking and giving Activision the finger. Let me be very clear. I am not in favor of skill-based matchmaking, even as a below average player. But as a below average player, I have to say that I am against two boxing and any practice that promotes targeting players at any level. I don't care if you're a streamer and guys are stream sniping. I'm, a, I'm against that shit. I don't like that. So I'm also not with this. It should be no surprise because I'm not going to sit here and pretend like two boxing or session joining or uh, smurfing isn't predatory because people are making a consorted effort to get into lobbies with people who are fresh spawns, new to the game, guys who are, I mean, you're literally doing it with a brand new account and you're playing in lobbies with people who are for the most part have barely or sometimes even never even touched the game it's their first time playing the game um they have absolutely no idea what they're doing and could you imagine the first time you get on to play or like uh you're getting on and then all of a sudden you get this guy in your lobby and he's got like a three two or three point kd or higher and then you're just getting absolutely dunked on and then you can't even see the guy i mean i could only imagine how much of a turnoff that is and why people would never want to get on the game after something like that happens because that just kind of really sucks and it's like i that the last thing that i want to do um when Enemy. considering cod is trying is doing something that would potentially turn a bunch of people off from the game if the game is decent now as far as i can tell from playing black ops 6 beta i think the game was pretty decent even for someone of my level um i was having a decent time even with all the lobbies that i got because as i stated in the last video uh there were an unusual amount of people who are known content creators and streamers making appearances in my lobbies but even with that being said the game felt good the game felt fun there was a lot of packet loss and there's some other issues with the game that i'm pretty sure will be mostly ironed out by the time the game does come out so i'm not really i'm not really worried about that stuff but when it comes to this thing about people two boxing and like they were doing it in the beta like in the beta because the, the skill based matchmaking was so high now I just want to say this i'm not in favor of skill-based matchmaking necessarily like it can be a good tool if like if they you know tweak it and do it right um to try and keep lower like super low level people out of you know lobbies with people who are just going to absolutely demolish them or to some extent some level of lobby balancing like where they're doing team balancing and they put um a super low level guy on a, on the team of a guy that's kind of a little high like i'm talking about people who are exceptionally exceptionally bad now i'm not good but i'm not the worst player um and and that's more so what i was talking about but it's like this idea that people should be like our guys are like oh i'm Oh man, it's like people are making videos basically defending themselves doing it uh, without saying that they're doing it. And it's like, we know you're doing it. Bro. So you can just cut the bull. And, and it's like, nobody really respects that really. Um, you, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna go ahead and drop a nuke or people are dropping doubles and triple nukes in lobbies. And it's like, uh, and they're just getting game plays and they're like, hey, yeah, and this, uh, the, and it's like, like, we don't really give a fuck. Nobody really gives a f about gameplay anymore anyway. So I don't even know why you're doing that. Um, you might as well just go around and just get a couple of kills and then throw that shit up and then be like, here, use this class setup. And then this, that, and that's it. Like we really, like most people really don't care. Like, cause there's so many people doing the same thing. Like, it's just like, why bother? But you know what i'm saying i guess it's easy views so guys are just gonna do it anyway but the the fact still remains that it's like any it's against the rules first of all like 
anything that's that predatory is most certainly going to be against the TOS of the game. And, and it's like, I, I don't even know why people are sitting there trying to even argue that fact. It's just like, I guess they're trying to basically hide. They don't want it to get o overexposed so that they start enforcing bans uh, or enforcing shadow bans or any kind of consequences on people who are doing that sort of thing. Um, and, and, and like I said, I'm not in favor of skill based matchmaking, but you guys got to be fucking kidding me if you think like, like, especially someone I do not want to see you guys guys in my lobbies at all i don't want to see you like if i occasionally like every 30 or 40 games i get a guy like that and he's in my lobby i'm i'm not really bugging you know i'm not really tripping like you know what i'm saying it is what it is that's just how cod is you know uh or you know that's just how you know it's gonna be sometimes but it's just like guys forcing themselves into my games like that all the time like it's not even just big high profile people it's just like guys who are just like starting out like trying who guys who are trying to build a following guys are doing stuff like guys who are just trying to get a uh, commentary game plays <laughs> you know what i'm saying they're, they're doing that shit to get lobbies and it's just like oh my goodness bro like get a fucking life man like you know what i'm saying like uh get a fucking job bro <laughs> like seriously like don't quit your day job to do this shit man it's clearly not lucrative enough bro it's clearly not easy enough like if you have to do all that to, to like get lobby or like to get like uh, content then you might want to reconsider but you know um i mean man it, it's just it, it's bad man it's bad it's just not a it, like people are actually out here trying to defend uh defend that this like shitty practice but if it was like people stream sniping uh, streamers the streamers they'd be all up in arms and and just be like they have to do something about the stream sniping and they have to do something about the stream sniping the streamers promote the game but it's like well okay well below average players in mass purchase cod so that doesn't make any sense that doesn't make any sense at all so like i you know it doesn't make any sense for people to be doing that shit well it's like well you're actually killing their sales you're killing their numbers like what the f like i don't know bro um you guys are killing me with that shit. like it just doesn't make any sense like you're turning people off from the game like you know what i'm saying uh like way to use your fucking brains like if you're gonna do it then do it and don't get caught and get on your you know have another aged account or something like that and go have your fucking fun um when you're off stream and you're not recording or some shit like that but i mean like don't get out here and and uh and and pretend like there's nothing wrong with what what was going on this isn't hate towards you guys um anybody that's really doing it it's just it you guys have to understand this is really a warning from me like i believe in my mind that before they ever touch skill-based matchmaking like i see the attempt to like stigmatize spmm so much that you know uh and show them that you guys are bored so much that you guys would much rather you know uh do things to cheat your way into um you know what i'm saying out outside of the system so that you guys can get the types of experience at games that you want to but it's like i know for a fact that before they do anything about that they would much rather go ahead and issue out bans or shadow bans um so that you guys can stop doing it and i'm just trying to uh, give you guys you know, warn you guys um that that's what i believe is coming instead of them doing anything in particular about skill and so forthcoming about it really in like the most recent years but um i have so much more to say but i'm gonna save it for an, um the next couple of videos that i drop so be sure to get tuned in make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys later um it's been your boy jay and i'm out peace